Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we continue our exploration of adding fractions using models. We continue that with the problem five six plus one half. Now we always, and the rock means always, start, lift your heads off your desks, it makes, you, it makes me think you're boring. We always start by comparing it with one. That way, it will tell me whether I have a whole number in my answer. A whole number in my answer. And thanks to all those of you that have your computers closed. So we have 5, 6 plus 1 half. And you know it's addition, so it doesn't matter what order it goes in. 5, 6 plus 1 half. 2, 3, 4... Five, six plus one half. So is my answer less than or greater than one? Greater than. Greater than one. So I know I'm going to have one plus something. It is this much greater than one. So really, all I need to do is find the fewest number of pieces that would fit here. So this is two sixths. So I could put two sixths up there. Is there any other thing I could put up there, Mina? Uh, I could do this question with Awesome. Were you just sharing that information, or were you going to use that to? I was going to use that to. All right, so what do you think will fit right here? I mean, we obviously know two sixths will fit up there. Because it fits right above it. Kaden? Um, maybe, um, uh, maybe one fourth? Let's see. Not one fourth. That's too small. Brooke? I could do four twelfths. I could do four twelfths. Jolie? Maybe you can do. Um, Maybe um, five sixteenths. Five Let's see if five sixteenths works. Three, four, five. No, just a little short. So five sixteenths doesn't work. Mason, you're you're going crazy over there. What do you think it is? Huh? One third. We could use one third. So we could have one plus four twelfths or one plus one third. Either one of those would be the answer. If it were a multiplication, or I mean a multiple choice test, both of those would not be there. Noah, which one would be there? One plus four twelfths or one plus one third? One plus one third. Good. Because Noah told me, and he texted me earlier and said, you always want the number of fewest number of pieces, right? Well, yeah, so one third is fewer than four twelfths. And also he watched the videos too. And also he watched the videos too. Because he's brilliant. Annoying, but brilliant. All right, our next problem is one half plus two fifths. One half plus two fifths. Again, we always start by comparing it to one. That way we can tell if we have a whole number in our answer or not. Less than or greater than, less, than less, one. Less. Less. <laughs> less than one. So now we got to figure out pieces that would fit exactly underneath it. Well, that's not going to work. Let's try eighths. See if that works. I know which one works. Call on me, call on me, call on me. Uh, well, eighths doesn't work. Um, gosh, how would I know what works? Oh, man, I got it. Ethan, 
I could maybe try six. What are we eight? Now Brooke is going crazy over there because she knows it's not six. <laughs> yeah, six is too small. Brooke, what is it? Nine tenths. Nine tenths. How did you guess that it was tenths, Brooke? Whoa. <laughs> All right. So, what Brooke came up with is one half is five tenths. One fifth is two tenths. So, what we have here, we have five tenths plus two tenths plus two tenths because I have two fifths. Now once we've decomposed it and written it like that, Brooke, what did you say five tenths plus two tenths plus two tenths was? Nine tenths. Equals nine tenths. Brooke, are there any other pieces that we could use to make it so we have fewer pieces? No. no. If the numerator and denominator are one apart, if the numerator is one less than the denominator, we can't use any fewer pieces for it to solve it at all. These are the last two problems you are going to see on your adding fractions with models Google Slides. You'd better have 100. If you don't have 100, you have a zero. Yes, sir.